Hi friends, my name is Kalpesh and welcome to my official YouTube channel Automotive Crux. I hope you guys are fit and fine in this pandemic situation. So stay tuned and keep learning with me through my official YouTube page Automotive Crux. In this video, I am going to show you what is the engine mode's taste. As its name suggests, in this video I am gonna discuss about the measurement technique for particular parameters. So let's check it out what is engine MOS test. Now before we understand the uh, what is MOS test actually first we need to understand these three terms. These three are the uh, power of from the engine. Engine terminology I have already discussed in my one of the video. Uh, the link for the same has been provided into the description so you if you haven't visited yet I'm kindly requesting to uh, visit that video so you will have a better understanding for the engine terminology now if we are considering this is the cylinder and here is the piston arrangement then we can understand with the help of this small figure these three powers so we are very well aware with the uh, engine uh, four, four stroke engine process which comprises four processes like uh, suction, compression, uh, expansion or power stroke and the exhaust stroke. With reference to these uh, processes, I am uh, going to explain these powers in a brief manner. So first that is indicated power. When charge, if it is a petrol engine then we can consider fuel plus air as a charge and if it is a diesel engine then we can consider only air as a charge. So when air uh, gets compressed or charge gets compressed at the end of compression stroke and and the ignition starts at that moment the combustion of the charge takes place and the power is liberated from the that combustion process that power which is produced due to the pressurized hot flue gases inside the cylinder over the uh, at the top of the piston that is called the indicated power so here we are getting the indicated power with the help of this indicated power, this hot flue gases pushes the piston downward side direction in the downward direction, and uh, we are getting actual work at the crankshaft at the bottom. This is the crankshaft. So brake power we are getting at the crankshaft, which is the actual power that we can utilize to run our vehicle. So here at the crankshaft we are getting the brake power. And as we are uh, aware with the construction, this piston it is sliding up and down inside the cylinder. So uh, it has to face some uh, frictional resistance in between the piston wall and the cylinder wall. So the power which is uh, utilized to overcome the friction in between the piston and the cylinder that is known as a friction power. So ultimately the relation between these three power indicated power brake power and the friction power that you can understand by this equation the total power which is produced inside the cylinder it is known as the indicated power the part of that indicated power it is utilized to overcome the friction which is known as a friction power and the rest of power which we are getting at the end of at the crankshaft end that we can utilize <coughs> That is known as a brake power. So ultimately indicated power it is equals to brake power plus the friction power. We uh, need to understand this phenomena because MOS test it is completely based on this phenomena and that's why we need to understand these fundamentals. So what is MOS test? MOS test it is utilized to estimate the friction power only. In this figure which is shown uh, at the left hand side of this slide this is the uh, this is the IC engine test trick on which the uh, MOS test can be performed. So here, here is the engine which is coupled with the dynamometer. With the help of dynamometer we can measure the brake power and at this point we have an engine. And this, this four lever uh, they are for the cutoff. If it is a petrol engine then we need to cut off the uh, power supply to the spark plug and if it is a diesel engine then we need to uh, cut out the 
a fuel supply to the each fuel injector. This is the complete or uh, laboratory test setup for the MOS test I have so shown here. So uh, MOS test it is applicable only for the multi cylinder engine. It is not utilized to estimate the friction power for the single cylinder engine. It is applicable only for the multi cylinder engine. In this uh, test, first engine is run at required speed and output is measured with the help of uh, this type of dynamometer in most of the case nowadays the eddy current dynamometer is utilized the whole uh, experiment is run with uh, with the constant speed and the variable loading condition here one assumption is there uh, by considering the pumping losses and the friction losses are nearly equal we can uh, estimate the more staged accurately to understand the MOS test, I am just giving an example of 4 cylinder engine. As I said, it is, out, it is only applicable for the multi cylinder engine. So I just shown the top view of the 4 cylinder engine. 1, 2, 3 and 4 cylinder petrol engine. Here I am writing the SI engine. The IP of the cylinder is given by, as we have discussed earlier, the total indicated power which must be equal to the total brake power plus the overall friction power. Whether combustion takes place inside the cylinder or not, the friction power it will remain almost same. And that's why we can we had uh, just taken the assumption that pumping losses which is equals to the friction power. To estimate the friction power, first we need to cut out one cylinder by short circuiting the spark plug in SI engine if the engine is petrol engine then we need to short circuiting the spark plug or if the engine is a CI engine compressed ignition engine then we need to disconnect the fuel injector so ultimately we need to cut out one cylinder so the combustion the combustion will not take place inside that cut out cylinder so as we have cut out one cylinder from the series for example we can say in this i'm saying cylinder one is cut out so ip4 n minus one cylinder is given by <coughs> ip4 n minus one equals to again the brake power we can measure with the help of the uh, different dynamometer which is coupled with the uh, engine and the friction power as I said uh, whether combustion takes place or not inside the each cylinder friction will be there and uh, whatever power is produced by the engine that a part of that power must be utilized to overcome that friction so friction power will remain same with the help of this two equation one and two <coughs> We are able to calculate estimate the we are able to estimate the IP indicated power from uh, which is produced by the cylinder one. With the help of the previous two equations, we can estimate the IP in the nth cylinder or the uh, IP for our cases uh, IP from the first cylinder. We can say <coughs> IP nth it is equals to brake power of whole engine minus brake power which is produced after cutting out the one cylinder this brake power we can measure with the help of brake uh, brake dynamometer so there is no other data required to estimate this brake power and once we have a brake power we can calculate the ip for the end so brake power for each time can be measured with the help of test dynamometer as i said and once we have a indicated power for particular cylinder once we have a indicated power for the particular cylinder brake power we can measure with the help of the engine dynamometer uh, which is coupled with the uh, test stick so once we have a ip and brake power for a particular cylinder then we can easily estimate from this equation the friction power for the end cylinder that is equals to IP of N cylinder minus total brake power. So, if we have a four cylinder uh, that we have considered for our in our case, uh, then with the help of this equation, 
one, two, three, and the fourth. Then at first we can estimate the friction power of cylinder one. Then by cutting out this second cylinder, again we need to understand we need to estimate the friction power of the second uh, cylinder in the same manner. Likewise, we can calculate the friction power for third and the fourth cylinder. So this is the way by conducting a MOS test we can estimate the friction power in the better manner. The value of the friction power which is estimated by with the help of MOS test they are quite accurate. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell button just next to the uh, subscribe icon so you will get notification for each and every video that I am going to upload. Thank you, thank you so much.